Hello from London. Okay, I've lived in London for 10 years. I've got friends that have lived here for even longer than that. And part of the advantage of living here versus what you guys are doing, visiting, is that we get loads of time to explore the nooks and crannies of the city. And that's part of what I think makes me very good at my job. But sometimes us Londoners find things and places that we think are so good, it's sometimes tempting to hide them from the tourists because we want to keep them for ourselves. But in this video, we are going to stop the gatekeeping and I'm going to tell you about some places that Londoners love, but sometimes we're like, maybe we can't tell the tourists. So come along. I think you're going to really like these places. They're a bit more adventurous and fun and we'll get some good treats along the way as well. So This is Camden Passage, a pedestrianized, super cute shopping street here in Islington, an area that tourists often don't come to. This is different from Camden Lock and Camden Market, which are super well known to tourists and quite frankly, I don't think are that great. Camden Passage is actually more popular with locals that live in the area and it's also where a lot of antiques shows film. This is a 1969 original vintage London Underground diagram of lines tube map. That is very cool. That's like a really special gift if you have someone who loves London back at home. There are lots of great brick and mortar cafes, shops, and restaurants here that are open basically every day. But if you come on a Wednesday or a Saturday, that's when you're gonna find the antiques market, vintage market, and another market that just sells a whole bunch of stuff. So those are great days to come. There's also some stalls that will be open Thursdays and Fridays, but Wednesday and Saturday is the main buzz, the main deal, and Wednesday's always gonna be quieter than a Saturday. So personally, I'd recommend coming on a Wednesday. That's when we're here. I really like this little shop, Pistachio and Pickle Dairy. They do like British cheeses, but they do these toasties that you can smell from down the passage. And they are so good. Cheese and chili jam, that's what I got. Oh man, that is cheesy. The next place I'm gonna show you is where you can go for some really tasty chocolate that you can take home to family and friends if you don't eat it before you get home. This is Dark Sugars, a chocolate shop opened by a Ghanaian woman named Nyonga who started with a stall selling truffles in Borough Market and she did so well that she opened up three brick and mortar shops and this is the OG location here on Brick Lane. I love this shop because you can smell the rich chocolate as you pass by and it's like drawing you into it. The chocolate here is amazing. Everything is handmade on location with chocolate that is from Nyanga's family's farm in Ghana. So this is like really, really good stuff. Also, I'll be honest, no Londoners are really trying to gatekeep this place, but I just kind of want an excuse to feature them and also to have a reason to come and get some chocolate. So let's go into the shop and I'll show you what I think is best thing to order in there. I'll take one of the classic hot chocolates. Okay, with normal milk and chocolate shavings. Ooh, um, I'll do actually oat milk. That would oat be great. Milk? Yeah, okay. and chocolate shavings too. Yes, yep. thank you. One of my favorite things to get here, and also one of the things they're most famous for at Dark Sugars, is their decadent hot chocolate. It is made with Ghanaian chocolate and they put these shavings on the top and it is just so rich and so delicious. If you find yourself getting a little bit tired while you're doing your touristing around London, we have so many incredible green spaces where you can go relax, 
take a load off your feet or just hang out and explore. And one of those great green spaces is Camley Street Park right here in Cold Drops Yard in King's Cross right next to Regent's Canal. This place is amazing because it's a nature reserve right in the middle of one of the busiest parts of London, right next to Regent's Canal. But actually, because it's a little bit off the beaten path, a lot of Londoners don't even know about it, but it is a beautiful green space to come visit. It's crazy because you don't really feel like you're in buzzy King's Cross while you're in here. This is where all the coal from the north of England would come before it got distributed out to London to get burned. And once coal was banned, then this area actually went into disrepair until 1985 when a regeneration of this area began. Then we got Camley Street Park, and a few years ago, Coal Drops Yard popped up, which is a development of restaurants, shops, cafes. We've talked about it a lot on this channel. It is a great spot to come if you're in the area. We're also right next to Regent's Canal, so you could pair a visit here with a nice long walk up the canal, past Camden to Regent's Park, or you could go the opposite way and make your way to Victoria Park. This place is really family friendly. So if you want to bring the kids here, there's activity books, they do special family events, and it's just nice and open for children to do a little bit of running around and exploring. I'm sure it doesn't come as a surprise to you guys that I like to document my own travels. And unfortunately, I don't always have my videographer with me with her swanky DSLR, but I still want my footage to be colorful and crisp and for the audio to be nice and clear. Well. That's why we are pumped to be working with Canon to show you the coolest new travel camera, the PowerShot V10. It's a camera specifically designed for people who want to capture amazing travel memories like a professional vlogger, but who want to do it in the easiest and the most simple way possible. This tiny camera shoots in 4K and has a wide angle 19 millimeter lens, which means I can get everything in the shot that I need to. I can literally just bring this little camera along with me. It's got everything I need from a tiltable screen so I can do front and back recording to a cute little tripod so I can set it up and get cool shots even when I'm traveling solo. It's super easy to use and has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. So so as I'm traveling and on the go, I can send all of the pictures and video footage right to my phone so I can instantly upload to Instagram, TikTok, and wherever I want to. And I can just keep it in my pocket. Super cute. Huge thanks to Canon for making this video possible. And to find out more about this amazing travel camera, the PowerShot V10, click the link in the description box. Okay, now back to the video. This spot is right in central London in Covent Garden, and it's kind of like a little break away from the buzziest part of the city. I'm a little hesitant to tell people about it, but we're not gatekeeping in this video, so here we go. We're actually at the top of the Royal Opera House in Covent Garden. If you go all the way to the top of the stairs and the escalators, you will find the terrace bar where we are now and it is absolutely beautiful. You get to look over Covent Garden, there's greenery everywhere. You can come up here and order champagne, cocktails, you can even bring up coffee in the morning, and it actually doesn't get that crowded considering what a great, beautiful space this is. There's actually a lot of places that you can eat and drink throughout the Royal Opera House. They even have a beautiful restaurant, but you don't have to have a ticket to a show to come up here. It's open from 12 o'clock basically every day, but I would recommend that you pair a visit here with a tour of the Royal Opera House, which they put on almost every day of the week. Me and you have watched one of my videos. Raise your hand. It's very hard to find the entrance to Frank's if you've never been, so Peck and Plex, and then it's over here. There you go. Sour sounds lovely. Yeah. Oh, that's tasty. <laughs> We've covered a lot of rooftops on this YouTube channel, and I personally absolutely love them. But most rooftops in London come with hefty price tags on the cocktails. 
So, if that's not gonna work for you, we've actually got a great place. We are here at Frank's Cafe, which is in Peckham in South London, and this is a local favorite. This is a bar at the top of a disused car park, and Londoners love to come here on a sunny day for good cocktails, good food, good views, good vibes, and good prices. Can't beat them. This is a community run space and the not-for-profit group that run it actually help emerging artists to create amazing art installations up here on the rooftop right next to the cafe. So definitely check those out once you've grabbed a cocktail and see some really cool art. It's kind of like a two for one deal. You can actually see a lot from up here. There's the Shard, the Walkie Talkie building with the Sky Garden at the top. St. Paul's is in the distance. The London Eye is over there. And over to the right is Canary Wharf, which is the financial district. Frank's is only open from Wednesday to Sunday during the summer months. So in the UK, that's May to September because nobody really wants to drink a Pims in the rain. I mean, to be fair, it's never stopped. A British person before, but during the summer on a sunny day, this is one of the vibiest places that you will find in all of London. It gets pretty crazy. I'll give you a couple more things that you can do while you're down here in Peckham. Right at the bottom of this building is Peckham Plex, which is an independent cinema, and they have some of the cheapest cinema tickets in the entire city. They're usually around five pounds, so you can go see a film there. Or if you prefer to watch something outdoors, right over there is a rooftop screen where you can see cinema out in the outdoors. It's called the Rooftop Film Club. They show films a couple of times a week when the weather is good. So there you go. Got a couple more things you can do when you're in Peckham. It's such a cool place that I'm so sad that more tourists don't come here. There's such cool stuff going on here. Don't forget, if you want lots more places to go in London that Londoners love and maybe don't want to tell tourists sometimes, grab our casual tourist guides. You can find out more about them via the link in the description box of this video. And if you want more tips for your London trip, well, we've got hundreds of videos. So you can click one of the boxes popping up right around me to watch one of those next.